process is to, to really serve us in, in, in working on the platform. It really put us in a place where we understood a better understanding of what the agencies are doing, what our capabilities are, what are those core capabilities that we can bring to the platform. And then what are the gaps? And then how do we fill those gaps? Do we fill those gaps through partnership state with the governments? Do we fill those gaps through private sector resources? I think all these things are in play. And I think all these things have some potential to fill this platform. So I think that's that's the exciting thing about this is making this real. And I think that uh, some of the players that we have involved now bring that experience to the table. And I think it's going to be very helpful. You know, my only, um, not my only, but um, one of the other frustrations, I would call it, is just getting with the bureaucracy and getting these documents into the, um, through the processes so we can get these types of places for review. And we have that commitment to basically have an opportunity to um, review the document and respond to the document. And we want to do as good as it's possible and, uh, and, and possible. The other thing is that uh, we're, we're targeting some of the some of the key stakeholder events that are occurring in the next couple of months, too. We have, I think, uh, we have the MAP game coming up, we have NICO coming up, we have NICO coming up, we have NACIO coming up. So we're trying to take advantage of those opportunities to engage folks and also to share what we're trying to accomplish. And I don't think there'll be a lot of things that will be significant to try in terms of what we're trying to do, but I think the approach is going to be really good in terms of how it um, will really make this real and real concrete. And so with that, I'll turn it back over to Pat. timing and the process for the review. Uh, we had originally said it would be great to have version four of the document out by the end of August, but that also assumed that we'd be able to get the document out July 1st. Given the fact that it's, you know, we don't have a date for it, um, we're not exactly sure what the time period would be for the review, so that will be determined once, um, once the document is released. We do have a process in place that will work, um, grant folks and staff will kind of refine this process through the 16 supplemental guidance review and then the earlier reviews of the roadmap. So we've got a pretty, I think it's a pretty robust comment tracking and adjudication process that we're able to provide responses back to everybody who comments to make sure that they see it and they comment back on to us. Um, and then to follow the guidance, we'll do whatever the heck is needed to engage, um, whether it's webcasts or whatever it is. Um, Bill Burgess had mentioned possibly kind of doing a, a digital webcast and present on the document prior to going out. So we're, we're wide open. But I'm guessing that the thought of having version 4 out by the end of August is why? What's the point? It seems to me we need to build in the appropriate amount of time to really have people review and comment and be able to deal with those comments appropriately. And that should be the principal driver for the timeline and not the concern of the state. Does not, that help? Not the fact that all of this is done. Washington, Brooklyn, New York. I would be honest with you, I'm Brooklyn. Just to clarify, so is the document still at Interior or OMB? It's a little bit of the way things um, work in Washington and then a little bit on the status. So the request for creating this roadmap that Tony's been describing, it was part of budget guidance that went to um, Interior and to the agencies, and so when, when it becomes part of the budget process, there's a review that, um, that, that necessarily has to take place. So where it is at the moment, we finished the document um, June 30th, before the close of business on June 30th, and got it down to the DOI budget office that day. And so right now, we're in there's an internal review process, and if you think about it, even within your own, within your own agencies, um, it's only been about Eight, 14 days at the time the budget office has had it one day for the holidays. So, it, uh, and I'm making excuses, I know, but um, it's um, so it is still an interior, hopefully um, on its way to OMB, and um, we'll get it out on its own. You know, we need to respect giving that um, document to OMB and then they're seeing it too before, before we turn it in. So, that's uh, where we're at. As Tony um, indicated, that. Um, they're planning, they were wanting to use the time between version three going out and getting version four out to 